the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. Well, you have to feel it to believe it. The ultimate Catalan clash as Espanyol seek to mix it with mighty Barcelona. is pivotal well I'm gonna go for a man who probably defines the anchor midfield role Sergio Busquets uh, responsible for maintaining the balance when either fullback moves forward he can drop in at center back occasionally um, and he gets him on the front foot with his crisp passing uh, he would be the obvious choice wouldn't he he certainly has all the right qualities and it's Iniesta and he's cut it out So what now? Iniesta. Vermaelen. Mascherano. Vermaelen. Iniesta. Vermaelen. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. Neymar. So there's a long pass towards the front. Pumps it upfield. Thrust towards the front line. Now it's Messi. Rakitic. Iniesta. Rakitic. Messi. Iniesta. Now we've seen lots of the ball. Trying to go for it a bit, a bit of creativity and adventure. Jordi Alba. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Vermaelen. Pumps it forwards. Iniesta. Point blank header! Great build up. It all deserved a better ending. Suarez showed superb vision and awareness there in executing such a delightful little chip that took out a whole defence to find the runner. Shame it just couldn't be finished off. Held in there. Forward it goes. Iniesta. Sergio Busquets. And the first 45 minutes are up. So your views on the first half? Well, the manager surely got to look for one or two creative changes now. They need some service up front. 
Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. Here we go again. At least there's always a plus side to a scoreless half. Defences are doing what they should, and it's going to take good imagination to break the deadlock here. Direct. Oh, too much weight on that. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Iniesta. Neymar. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Lifting it over. Drilled in low. And that's been repelled. Sergio Busquets did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Messi. Messi hits it! And in again. Oh, wonderful, wonderful Lionel Messi! He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. change here, there's a man waiting to come on. Barcelona put themselves into the lead. Listen, it's no surprise to me as to who scored the goal when you look through this team. He's the standout performer with a, a whole repertoire of different talents. He'll do for me every time. Barcelona yet dipped into their subs. Messi is steaming forward. Who's going to make this theirs? Gets it upfield. It's nothing. Oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. In any other time, it would have sneaked in. And that's out of reach. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Too much on it, and that's the keeper's. So they got the 
only goal to make it 1-0. Luis Suarez. And it's Messi. Barcelona being made to look sloppy in possession here. 1 0 as we head towards the end. Neymar. Neymar with a shot. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Rakitic. A chance. Oh, the ball's come loose. Messi, oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, I suspect there'll have been a few nails chewed off during that attack. How they survived, I'm not quite so sure. But their lead is intact and that's all that matters. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. I think they need to be more direct now and just start getting the ball forward. Now it's Luis Suarez, Messi, big chance here! The whistle is gone and it is all over. Terrific contest, it really might have tipped either way, the margins were tiny, just a goal in it, but that was enough. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Listen, I've experienced the highs and the lows of derby clashes and I can tell you that when you win one it's uh, pretty special. There's so much at stake, it's, it's almost a relief to get it over and... Uh, I certainly can identify with the euphoria we're watching now. I think they deserved it. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim. And good afternoon, all.